r equals 1 minus 2 sine theta. Uh, the thing about the sine theta is that the cosine was reflected in the horizontal axis here. And sine has a similar property, but this time it's reflected in the vertical axis. So these values of r will be the same both sides here and here, and there and there. So all we need to do is draw one side here or one side there, whichever we find more convenient. And then we can fill in the other side with the mirror image. So let's have a look at 0 to pi over 2 first then. Sine naught is naught, so this is naught, and we get 1 at naught. So there's 1. Okay, and now we go around to, th uh, then r will decrease. So sine increases around to pi over 2. It, this value here, this whole thing will diminish, won't it? When you get round to pi over 2, it actually has the value minus 1. Agreed? So it has the value minus 1 at pi over 2. So somehow it's got to go round here. The r's get smaller and smaller until they get to naught, and then it's got to come through to minus 1. Now, where is it naught? Well, when is this naught? It's naught when sine theta is a half, and that happens when sine sine 30 is a half, pi over 6. So at pi over 6 angle, which is quite shallow, it comes round to naught. And then it goes negative after that, round to there. So it's quite a shallow thing then, isn't it? Like so. And then round to there. And that's what happens between naught and pi over 2, with this value of r's here. Now let's worry about from pi through to here. Or we could do... Um, Oh no, we don't have to do that one because it's the same. Now we need to worry about this half here when it's negative. So when was it? So we could do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Then sine naught is naught is what? One minus two is sine naught is naught, and one minus naught is one. So that's that. And then we go down here. And for these values, r is this sine is negative. So this will turn this positive, so they'll all be bigger than one, so it's going to start coming out. When it gets to pi over, minus pi over 2 here, sine has the value minus 1, and that becomes 3. So basically, we're going to need to go down to 3, aren't we? So let me just extend this slightly, and mark off 3, say, here. And so we're coming out, and we're increasing, and we're going to go around to 3. So we're going to come right around and go around to 3. There we go. And it's the same. Now we've done this side here on the right. We can just do the mirror image and draw the whole plot from 0 to 2 pi. There we go. So there's our plot then. Let's just check that. 1 minus 2 sine theta. Let's just quickly check that then. 1 minus 2 sine theta. Check that on the plotter. And hopefully we get the same function. R equals 1 minus 2 sine theta. It's working away, taking its time. And it's not doing it. Hmm. Ah, here we go. It eventually got there. Um, yeah, there's the plot then. Remember what we said when we went around 0 to, 2, 0 to pi over 2? We had negatives all the way through. Um, and then we carried on. That was the shape we got anyway, if I remember. I went from here, didn't it? Sorry, around to pi over 2, right around that part there. And then we got the other part, this part here, from the negative part here, from the 0 to minus pi over 2. Okay.